said the very dangerous T-Rex with the LHR unlock crown. Yeah, I censored that, and there's a very good reason for that, because the vast majority are only watching the first 15 seconds of the video, and I figured out why. Perfs. Go watch one of the other tube sites. Hello my fellow miner, today we're going to have a look at the latest version of T-Rex Miners. Changelog, overclock settings, low power mode, performance mode, and of course, profits. And a uh, little surprise. Dual mining as well. Changelog. The changelog is full of very important stuff this time, so you better sharpen your ears. First up, we have the improved LHR functionality, which is the one we are interested in. However, and now comes the absolute most important stuff that you shouldn't miss. I think that was a wet one, so quickly moving on like a ninja. Overclock settings. It's unleashed. Please note that I'm very well aware that the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs works much better when you disable LHR and you overclock them lower. I want to test the LHR unlock ability on these two cards and that is why you see the clocks you see. I'll go through the overclock settings. First I'll start with card, then core, then memory hive and memory windows. RTX 3050, 1500, 1700, 850. RTX 3060, 1552, 2600, 1300. RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1, 1350, 2100, 1050. RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2, 1500, 3200, 1600. RTX 3070, 1125, 2600, 1300. RTX 3070 Ti, 900, 2300, 1150. RTX 3080, 10 gigs, 1250, 3400, 1700. RTX 3080, 12 gigs, 1300, 2400, 1200. So I changed it since last video. Note that if you have the RTX 3080 12 gigs, you may need to restart T-Rex Miner a couple of times before you are actually able to achieve the hash rate we will look at soon. Also, you'll need to set an LHR value for the RTX 3080 12 gigs and RTX 3050, or else you'll sit and wait forever just to figure out that it doesn't actually work and then you'll have to restart it anyway. But it is very important to trigger the lock at least once, or else you'll get a very low hash rate. Don't ask me why it's like that, it just is. Now, with that out of the way and without me actually saying both cards sucks, let's move on. If you are the jolly user of HiveOS, go in, create a flight sheet with version 0.25.9 if it hasn't been released yet on HiveOS, and then fire off the command as seen here to override that version. I'll drop a medium link where you can go and copy paste it from, because YouTube changes it. Now let's have a quick look at the extra arguments. Note that I've only set the LHR tune value for the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3080 12 gigs. the rest are minus one, which means do it automatically. The RTX 3050 is the second last and the RTX 3080 12 gigs is the very last one. And spoiler, the very lowest you can go in LHR tune is 43. Oh, and that there is my wallet. Feel free to replace it with your own. With HiveOS sorted out, let's have a look at Windows. If you haven't liked the video, then now is the time to do it before that pretty lady on the thumbnail gets eaten by the T-Rex. It told me it would eat her face if this video didn't reach a million likes. Now, if you're using Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here. I actually recommend that you set the fan speed to 100%, especially in dual mode. Visit my article on Medium to copy paste. Also, please note that low power mode is not supported in dual mining. Oh, and this is also the best place for me to hide this message. How do you know the difference between an RTX 3060 Ti, Rev1 and Rev2? Well, the Rev1 can only overclock memory up to what I have shown. If you clock it up to 2300 in HiveOS, it will crash. So now I can finally say it's in the video. Yes, I'm a troll. Average results. No, 
I still haven't gotten my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs. Man, it's actually holidays here in Denmark. It is great penguin wrestling week or something like that. I honestly cannot remember. But don't worry, I got them to postpone Ethereum proof of stake so I can bring you those very lovely RTX 3080 Ti videos before they go proof of stake. So I have at least a couple of years. Now, here we have the results. Please note that low power mode's power usage fluctuates like teenagers' moods? Crazy mood swings. Anyway, crazy power swings. I am not going to read them up, but if you are sight impaired, then please drop a comment and then I'll do even more out of my medium article so you can use your reading tools etc there. Now let's compare the result to Lot Minor. Throughout we see T-Rex Minor winning, uh, especially when it comes to GDDR6X. And we also see some great improvements on the RTX 3080 12GB compared to my test with the beta version. Overall it looks pretty good. These are the two best miners currently when it comes to LHR unlock and I actually really wish that NB Miner would join the fight. So NB Miner, where we are, come play with me. Now let's have a look at Ethereum plus Alepium dual mining. The results for lot miner are taken from my dual slash triple mining video. Go check it out. I'll drop a link in the description. Now here the picture is very different. First of all, the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs never unlock. And that is simply due to the LHR value not being able to go lower than 43. Also, if you listened well in the changelog, you heard me say that the new LHR unlock tweak doesn't work for dual mining, as stated in the changelog. So when it comes to dual mining with an LHR card, Lot Miner is by far the king. Not only is it faster, but it also supports Ethereum plus Toncoin, which you can check out on my other channel. I'll throw a link in the description and in the comments so you can go check it out. And when I say go check it out, I actually mean the profit comparison for all the different coins I have overclocked for. Let's have a look at the mining screen. The top one is dual mining, the middle one is low power and the bottom one is performance slash normal mode. Now let's just take the performance slash normal mode first. A thing to note here is that the memory is quite hot and the LHR values. That is pretty much it. Now let's have a look at low power mode. Low power mode has crazy power fluctuations as you can actually see here. A very good example here of power fluctuation is the RTX 3070 Ti where it uses 173 watts in one place and 137 watts in another place. So it fluctuates quite a lot but uh, that is like the trademark of low power move. The upside though is that the core and memory temperature are lower. Now let's have a look at Ethereum plus Alibium mining. What catches the eye first here is the awesome lock at the very top. And if you look at the time, I'm 1 hour and 7 minutes in and it still locks for GPU 8 and 9, which is the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs. Another thing to note is the insanely hot memory, which uh, I really dislike to be honest. And of course that all the cores are quite hot as well, but that is really not a problem. They are in the perfectly fine range. If you haven't liked the video yet, now is a very good time, as is subscribing. Also, if you really want to help me out, then share the video with someone you know. Now, before we move on to the profit part, then please note that I have moved the daily profit updates to another channel. Link in the description and in the comment. The pinned comment, that is. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a lovely weekend. Unless you actually see this in the future and it's not on the weekend, then have a lovely day. Oh, by the way, you are my most favorite fellow miner of them all, so remember to click like. T-Rex tool mining profits were pretty bad, so I'll show lot miner instead.